Okay, Nadine says, <laughs> Nadine says, hello, Matthew. Mine used to and give me a slot of time. Then it started getting lesser and lesser. Then he makes everything turn around. So if I ask for a little time or affection from him, he'll say, oh, again and again, you want me? He says he's doing important things or he has no data on his phone or he's at the gym. Now I'm lucky to get a high. So I've been stopping, stopping my messaging him. But when I do, he will start saying, where are you? I can't understand this kind of person. Um, yeah. So Nadine, here's what you want to do, right? Uh, so I, I don't know what kind of a situation you're in with this guy, Nadine. I'm guessing that you're just still dating him. My suggestion, and I talk about this in just about every live stream and video and everything that I have out there is that you want to abundance date and you don't want to put all your eggs into one basket. You don't want to deal. You, you need to find out like a guy has to prove to you that he's really interested in you. And the way that he does that is there's three different things that a man needs to do in order to prove to you that he's really interested, that he really cares, that he's, he's committed, that he's doing all these kinds of things, right? And the three things are, one, his words need to be moving in the right direction. They need to be, uh, you know, kind, caring, loving. They need to be talking about getting into relationships and commitment and his interest in you and what he wants to do with you, all the things that we just talked about. Two, his actions need to be in alignment. So he needs to be moving towards you. He needs to be taking care of you. He needs to be uh, showing you that he cares about you. He needs to be going out of his way to show you that he likes you. He needs to be investing in you from a, an energy and a mental and an emotional standpoint, from a vulnerability standpoint. And then number three, he needs to be doing these things over time. So in, there needs to be consistency in these things over time. And if a guy isn't doing those three things, you don't want to overinvest in him. And the way that you make sure that you don't do that is by abundance dating. Because then when you're abundance dating, you've got different guys that you can date. And then if you know you you show them, hey, this is the relationship that I'm looking to have. And over time, they will either weed themselves out because they're not serious and they've got other issues and, you know, they're just messing with you or whatever. And the ones that are serious will weed themselves in and they will show you and they will prove to you and they will let you know and they will push things forward and they will try to be exclusive with you. They will want a committed relationship with you. They'll want for you to meet their friends and family. They'll want to meet your friends and family. They'll be interested in you and your hobbies and they'll do all this stuff over time. And so, uh, you know, I see a lot of weird things happening. We just had a woman in our community today who is talking about how she's been dating this guy for less than a week. And she's like trying to move over to where he is. You know, she's like moving out of her house and trying to move over towards him. And he's all like, whoa, 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 you know? And it's like, it's been less than a week, you know? Like there's no, you have no idea who this human is. It takes at least three months, it takes at least three months for most people to start letting down their guard and showing you who they really are. And it takes even longer than that for you to really start figuring out whether this person is the right person. And so you can pick one person and try to do all those things with that one person, but then you're going to be over invested. You're going to be wondering what they're doing. You're going to be like, why is this guy acting all weird? But if you're dating multiple people, and one guy starts acting weird or whatever, you're going to hardly even notice it. You're going to be like, oh, I really like that guy. Too bad he's gone now. Oh, well, you know, I've got these other guys that are far more interesting and they're attractive and they're moving towards me and they want the relationship that I want. So I don't have to worry about this, you know, crazy guy acting all crazy anymore because I've got better options. I've got more options. If you only have one place where you're getting your water from, you have to go to that place to get the water. 
even if it's dirty, even if it's some kid has been splashing in it, even if the dog's rolling in it. But if there's a whole bunch of different places where you get your water from, you don't have to worry if one of the places isn't a good place to get your water from. You can get your water from multiple different places. And so that's what you want to be looking at. That's what you want to think about. Does that make sense, Nadine?